This is the peak ESR70 uh, capacitance in ESR meter. These are great little tools. I've gotten a lot of use out of this thing, but they have one flaw. The cable on this thing is pretty cheap and it has a tendency to break. Um, many of you may have run into this problem. This is why I made this video. So the way it was supposed to work, this is what you had. You had this um, <clears throat> cable like this to that, al that alligator clip and it would plug into these two millimeter banana clips and then you would have your your cable like that. The problem is they, they break, as you can see, right here. And in my case, it happened on both sides. I really didn't use it that much, but still, you know, just from metal fatigue, they broke on both sides. <clears throat> now you can replace this entire cable. You can buy these cables on the internet for like $22. I don't know, that seems a little steep for something that shouldn't have broken in the first place. Anyway, I thought maybe I could come up with some way to do it cheaper. Looking around on eBay, I found that you can buy these two millimeter uh, banana plug uh, type connectors. And let's see if we can't uh, repair one of these things the cheap way. This, all of this stuff here, I got four of these. It cost me like $2 or something. <clears throat> so let's see if this will work. As you can see that, that there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of wire there, but we're going to have to strip it back a little bit to give us some, some bare metal to work with. So we're going to use the old wire strippers and see if we can't get some, uh, get some metal there. Okay, well, I went ahead and did that. I mean, I got, a, got about half a centimeter of metal there. That should be enough. Now, I will need to pre-position this um, rubber shield. Okay. And then when I solder that in, of course, this black rubber piece is going to slide over that metal piece. Maybe just a touch of flux, maybe help that solder stick a little bit. I'm going to use a vice grip just to hold that piece steady when I try to solder it. Okay, looks like we got it. Now we can go ahead and slide that sleeve back over it and let's see what we got. Now let's connect it to the... Uh -huh. Looks like we're in business. Okay, that side went okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Okay. Now, I realize that um, I didn't need to make it red. I mean, obviously, these are not polarized. I made it red because, you know, that's what came in the kit, black ones and red ones. Uh, 
There it is. Okay, well, let's see if it worked. Yep, it's working now. Okay, very good. Okay, I realize this is not exactly uh, high tech. Okay, it's uh, really pretty basic stuff, but this is a pretty common problem with these widely used meters. And it's just nice to know you don't have to shell out, uh, you know, 20 plus dollars to replace this cable. And that there's a cheaper alternative, you know, for two or three dollars worth of generic two millimeter banana plug sockets, you can uh, fix your own. Okay, that's it.